Welcome back, we're at it again. Another day, another roam, another pack. It's Sunday morning, 10 past 11. We've been out and about this morning. Got here at 9.30. Had eight, eight dogs this morning joining us for the walk. Don't have to work with any dogs today, which is a bonus. And uh, the dogs are just chilled out now. Here, we've got the big black Maisie. Light's not that good. Tammy, I oh know, rain, storm. Tammy down there. And Patu over there. But thanks for joining us. And uh, got a few videos. Going to chat about you know, what I've been doing over the last uh, week or two of working with dogs and uh, take it from there. Come on. Just taking the dogs out for another little walk. You can join us for about five minutes. Come on. So Dingo's just arrived. So let's take the dogs out for a little walk. It's too good a day to sit in the van. So as usual we just let the dogs run roam free, no leashes. And there's plenty of space here. Nobody else here. So good place for the dogs to hang out. Too bright over there on that concrete so don't want to muck around with the lighting. But anyway, that's us. I might go down there, hook around that side there, see what happens. See Maisie, it's nice and relaxed. So all the other dogs. Doesn't get much better than this. I could do this, oh well I do do this, all day every day. So, be time to take some good photos soon of spring spring photography and put some more nice photos up for you guys. Pretty chill, nice day. Got a pack of dogs. Life doesn't get much better. So we're just going to carry on with our day. Probably not going to leave here till about five, six. Who knows? Probably stay here the night. Never know. Patu, Patu, come here, Patu. Go, go, Patu. Go, go. See the dogs down. See if they come back some food for themselves. What's the matter, Dinka? Get down there. Oh, 
come back. But do you leave? Anyway, that's us. Come on. When you got a perfectly behaved pack, pretty easy to uh, hang out with dogs and uh, I get asked all the time but you can see all the dogs are calm so when all the dogs are calm even Maisie, Maisie it's the first time Maisie's joined us for you know, three four weeks look how calm she is Maisie come here Maisie me. Nice and calm. So we're just going to carry on and enjoy the day. Well, as you can see, we're back in the van. Dogs are chilled out. So what I've been up to in the last, well, since the last video, is the same old thing: out with dogs every day, working with dogs, helping people with dogs, and most of the time. Uh, when people have issues with dogs, doesn't matter what issue it is, you fix it exactly the same way. Just wait till uh, some people over there talking their language. So I work with all dogs, any age, uh, any breed, exactly the same way. I get the dog calm and that's it finish and once the dog is calm it's really easy to work with and uh, its behavior changes so I've had dogs with uh, food issues uh, way over excited have no sense of uh, a dog that uh, just didn't know anything about how to behave so it'll get excited, it'll just take off, it'll get aggressive. So you have all these issues, same old, same old issues that people have. And uh, it's funny because most of the people that bring me a dog, my first thing I say to them that it's not calm and that I wouldn't walk a dog in the state, not one step. And the answer is always the same, oh, they need exercise. No, they don't. They need to learn how to be calm. That's it, finish. There's no point in you got a uh, excited dog and you take it for a walk and then it uh, gets hyped up, gets more hyped up while it's on a walk. It's just pointless because uh, it doesn't help the dog's behavior, not one single bit. So you have to uh, get a dog calm and you can walk it any time you want, you can run it, you can, you know. The trouble is, uh, if you see the videos today of me walking the pack, uh, you'll see that calm dogs don't want to run around all silly. They don't want to uh, uh, get up to mischief. They're just quite happy to follow along with you and do their own thing. And you'll see in the videos, some of the videos when I send the dogs off, you know, half of them don't even want to go, they just like us, it's a nice day. The heck do I want to run around for and be silly? Just chill out. So anyway, that's what I've been up to. My tip always to anybody with any dog is get a dog calm. All this treat stuff and all this positive reinforce stuff, that's only for people who don't know how to get a dog calm. And in the long term it doesn't work. And I and I tell people that your dog is obedient, it's not calm, so when they tell it to sit or stay, it still wants to go 100 miles an hour, so it only listens and becomes obedient for, what, two seconds, and then it's gone. Calm dog, you don't have to tell it to sit and stay. It'll just do it anyway. But anyway, that's enough blabbering on for me for the day, so... Hope you enjoyed the video, hope you enjoyed the clips. Well, it's 
going on to four o'clock in the afternoon so I've had a really good day been out most of the day roaming with the dogs taking videos taking photos and I ended up having to uh, do some work with the dog it was a little uh, French French bulldog and so spent some time with the lady showing her how to work with uh, her dog and uh, it's a really nice dog actually it's just over excited so showed her how to calm it down and how to get it to listen to you and how to get it to walk really well and within a matter of half an hour it was a different dog so this is what I do with dogs you know I show people how well their dog can behave in a very short amount of time and it's not hard it's quite easy actually so so much for having the day off Hope you enjoyed the video give us a like subscribe to our channel we appreciate it dogs will appreciate it well not as much as i do we'll be back at it again tomorrow thanks for watching